Welcome to Young Camel Toes Travel Vlogs. Follow me as I travel the world, discovering unknown places and doing ridiculous things with my friends. Please like, subscribe, and hit that post notification button. I have a 13 hour layover in Taiwan before I head off to Thailand. Let's see what we can see. Made it to Taiwan. I'm on the Sky Train, trying to figure it out. Just missed immigration. Stuck at the airport. I got a flight leaving tomorrow morning. Headed to Thailand. But right now we on the sofa. Just chilling, man. The metro ticketing station is very easy to use. All you gotta do is pick your station and put in the money. But I couldn't figure it out, so I went to the ticket booth. This is what the metro looks like leaving from the airport going to the main city. Money, 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 money. I'm a Taiwanese billionaire, baby. This is the Metro token. It's a plastic coin. Riding on the Metro, looking at my Getro, going to Taiwan for about, I had about five hours. First stop, I had to write my name, Young Camel Toe, on this here rock. Oh no, buddy, we not gonna go to the McDonald's for your first meal out here. We gonna get some real food, baby. That's called growth, people. I just ordered some Kung Pao chicken noodles with no egg. Breaking news, Young Camel Toe was in Taiwan for five hours. He's a very sexy, handsome man. If you see him walking around town, make sure to say hi and give him a hug and maybe some free drugs. He really likes mushrooms. Do him a favor and listen to his new track, Money, 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 Money. It just hit a billion views on YouTube. Dog fast food. Oh, please don't let the rumor be true. I don't want to eat no dog today. I ordered chicken, God. I believe the lady, though. She looked like she was a very respectable lady. I said no egg. Fun fact, if I eat more than three eggs, I vomit. I don't know what. The food was scrum diddly d delicious. I got to come back here at least five more times today. Baby, baby. Uh. Smack. Man, the Taiwanese streets definitely got some BBLs, man, because they thicker than a moat, you know, like 11 lanes. I always like to look at the stoplights in new countries. This one looks like Mr. Game and Watch. It's a grand cloudy day for a young counter. Funnel cakes in Taiwan. They should call these butter cakes because that's all they taste like. After that sugary buttery high, I had to walk it off. You know, I'm walking down this district, looking at the signs, looking for my next wife. I guess you could say my ex-wife. They got 7-Elevens on every block out here, bruh. 7-Eleven in Taiwan sells anime, movies, magazines, a bunch of drinks that I did not know the name of. They got ATM machines, a whole bunch of different teas, sushi, sushi wraps, sushi rolls, sushi explosions, sushi churros, sushi bananas. Everything was sushi up in there, man. So many different foods. I didn't have the time to try them all. So... I have absolutely no idea what this drink is, but here goes to not knowing things. It's like a soy soda. It's like a soda mixed with soy milk. Kind of tasty. Sitting down with my new best buds, you know, looking at these old Taiwanese people doing yoga in the park. So I figured I should do some yoga too, you know, solidarity. An old man told me today that these buns is thicker than Kim Kardashian and Cardi B. And I must say, he was correct. Most convenience stores in Taiwan have free Wi-Fi, so I suggest that you use those places if you ever need to go online. These seem to be high prices. Most of the food I saw went for around 200 to 300. And this is me trying to figure out why this one's so expensive. 
The garbage trucks in Taiwan play Fur at least by Beethoven, and they also play the Maiden's Prayer. That. Look at these Taiwanese bathrooms, man. They got a lot of writings on the wall and an emergency press. I guess you take too big of a dude and get stuck, you can call for the help. Here's me walking in the streets of the food market. They had tons of food that I've never seen before in my life. It smelled like tilapia. Uh, there was a lot of people under five foot. I mean, I was the tallest man in Taiwan. This older man asked me where I was from. I told him I'm from Young Camel Toe Land and the world of Young Camel Toes. He laughed and he said, man, have a great day. Your vibe is strong. Blessings, blessings, and I moved along. Now, when I was walking in this market, I, was, uh, I saw some ducks, some squid, and an alligator, and uh, tons of kids were having a good time selling products. I guess child labor laws don't exist out here, or maybe they just break those rules but I saw a lot of kids in the market selling things but it's all good they had smiles on their faces they had lots of clothes and garments but you know how I do I don't buy anything that don't say young camel toe on it because I believe that I should always be representing my brand because as a black man in America it's all about that entrepreneurial spirit spirit and I always believe that I should be representing a hundred percent no matter where I go I'm at the temple, about to do a prayer. Oh, nope, hold up, he's about to do a photo shoot. Shouts out to Blas, KFC, and the Starbucks across the street. Will I go? No, not today. We're going to Taiwan. Hey, 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 hey. I must say, this is the tallest pink building I've ever seen in my life. Shouts out to the pink game, baby. The underground mole at the main Taiwanese train station is wider than Kim Kardashian's lips. It's wider than Cardi B's hips. It's wider than Jay-Z Jay-Z's discography. It's a lot of shopping, but you know I don't shop. I just drop all these hit records. I'm just going for a second back to the airport and I'm going to Thailand. Yeah, we on that flight, man, looking serious. Didn't really sleep too well, but we gonna figure it out. Finally landed in Thailand, the home of the young Kim Thailand. 